What up everyone, welcome to BMG, it's your boy Brown Mamba, hope you guys are doing good. So this is a second part to my first video where I show the unboxing of an SSD drive and the Xbox One Media Hub. So please watch that video, the link is here somewhere, click on and watch that video and then come watch this video. So in this video I'm just going to show you guys quickly how to transfer your games that are already on the internal hard drive onto your new SSD drive that's in the Media Hub. It's very simple to do, let's get started. Once you've installed the Media Hub, you restart your Xbox and once you power it back on, you should see this message. It'll ask you to set up your external hard drive and it's honestly pretty straightforward. You just say yes, I want to format my hard drive and you format it. It'll ask you to name your device so you can just name it whatever you want. I just named it Media Hub for now and I might change it later but for now, I'm just going to call it Media Hub. Once you've done naming your hard drive, it doesn't take too long to format. Most likely, if it's a brand new hard drive, it'll take a split second because there's nothing on it. Next, in your storage menu, you just click on the hard drive, your internal one, and you click on View Contents. It should show you everything that you have on that hard drive. Another way to get to that menu is basically going to your home screen, clicking on um, Settings uh, on the left-hand side, and viewing all settings, going all the way down to System, and on your System, it should say Storage. And then again, you just go view contents of the internal hard drive and it'll take you to this screen where you go over the game that you want to move over and you press the menu button and click on manage game. Just click on the thing that says internal. It'll give you three different options. It'll say move all, copy all, or uninstall all. Obviously, we want to move it all. You could also copy it, but I just do move it all to kind of eliminate that one step. And then this page will come up and all you do is click on move and that's it. It'll start moving it to the new hard drive. It'll say, for example, mine says Media Hub. And it'll be moving it to the Media Hub. It'll move everything for you. Any add-ons you have or any new maps you've downloaded, it'll just move everything, even the game saves and all that stuff. I personally moved all the games that I play a lot. I, I play Grand Theft Auto, I play Minecraft, I play NBA, and I play Call, Call of Duty. So obviously those are the games that I put on my SSD just so I could experience that quicker load times and all that stuff. And that's it. It doesn't take too long, um, depending on the size of the game. Most games are like 50 gigs that are on the hard drive. It takes. It took me, I don't know, like 15, 20 minutes. I don't even remember. I just kind of left the room. But once everything's loaded onto the hard drive, and that's it. You just go back and play the game like you normally would. Since installing the SSD drive, I've noticed one big thing that loading the games up is so much quicker. Like, I don't have to wait that much. Like, even when I'm playing Call of Duty, I'm not in that menu where it's like loading to start the game. It just quickly puts me in the game. And I'm usually the first one if I'm playing Domination. I'll be the first one on A or C or whatever it is, even before my teammates get a chance to load up. In actual gameplay, I don't think it makes too much of a difference when it comes to like moving around and like having an advantage over your players. I don't think it does. Well, at least I haven't noticed, but. Um, I do have some gameplay from a game that I did play. It's, it's one, of my, one of my best gameplays, I guess, considering that I got like 40 kills at half. Uh, I was pretty impressed. So yeah, I, I included that in this too, so you guys go watch that. And um, I don't think the SSD drive had anything to do with the way I played, but like I said, the load times were so much better. I haven't tried Grand Theft Auto yet, but I will soon, and I'm sure it will cut the load times in like 70%. Like, it's, it's going to be pretty good. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I do plan on making more videos like this. I do want to make a video where I show how I play my Xbox on my iPad. Um, that is probably my next video, maybe a couple of videos after. Um, I hope you guys do subscribe to my channel and press the like um, button. And if you guys want to leave any negative or positive feedback, please leave it in the comments below. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace!
Like a hell cut. 